Best New Artist um, is Best International Float Award. Mercury Prize. Oh my gosh, my sister. Make some noise. Give it up. Little Sims, everybody. Little Sims! The amazing, the phenomenal Little, Little Sims. Little Sims! <laughs>
With distribution through AWOL, Little Sims released a curious tale of trials and persons. Despite being just 21, there was an aura of maturity that emanated both from the music and artist, yet the sound still remained raw. The album was highly acclaimed and achieved a 7.8 rating on Pitchfork who said Little Sims raps with a shape-shifting hardness and a ragged sense of spiritual burden that brings to mind Lauren Hill and Kendrick Lamar. They went on to say this is a tense, terse concept. The tracks roll forward in one dark uniform palette. Technically, she's phenomenal. She revs up almost offhandedly like she's jumping rope, and she seamlessly shifts in and out of her singing voice like Drake. Like she followed on by dropping the fourth and fifth installments of her Age 101 series and announcing her own UK tour with a show in her hometown at London's Islington O2 Academy. 2016. In the year universally enjoyed by everyone, Sims released her second album, Stillness in Wonderland, to even more acclaim. I wanted it to feel like an audio experience. I wanted you to feel almost immersed in Wonderland. This is where I personally tapped into the sound of Little Sims and immediately felt the urge to go back into her catalogue because it was clear she was operating on a sonic level that not many in the UK were exploring. The album also saw her win the AIM Award for Independent Album of the Year, 2017 to 2018. 2017 began with Sims announcing her Welcome to Wonderland tour of the USA and Canada. She also received another top tier co-sign with the track Garage Palace with Gorillaz after being recommended by none other than Kano following Simbi's link up with Kano and Stormzy on Dead Body parts 2 and 3. By now it was clear, Little Sims was garnering a lot of attention and praise, but it seemed there was no major label deal on the table. Sims explained how many offers she received would have forced her away from the authenticity she felt drove her music. How important is that independence for you today? Yeah, well, talking of accidents is kind of the same. No one wanted to sign me. I was like knocking on everyone's doors, you know, doing my rounds and whatnot, and, and they wasn't hearing it, you know. And the times where I was getting presented with deals or offers, I felt as though they were trying to take away the very thing that made me me. But in 2018, Sim signed an exclusive distribution license and arrangement through the label she founded, Age 101 Music. This deal was for worldwide distribution through AWOL recordings. I might be missing a trick, but I think I found something that works for me. It's a lot of hard work, but I'm definitely a stairs person and not on escalator journey. 2019. After a trip away to LA to recruit a friend and producer inflow, Sims went through deep thought, conversation and reflection. It was during this time, she said, she laid the foundations for her latest album, Grey Area. It was now Little Sims was truly blowing up and gaining even more nationwide notoriety. Grey Area peaked at number 87 on the official charts company, went number one on the UK R&B chart, and gained an 8.1 rating on Pitchfork. Sims made a return to the silver screen with her role as Shelley in the hit series Top Boy, finally seeming to strike a perfect balance between acting and making music. 2020. In 2020, Little Sim scored some more major wins for her trophy cabinet, taking home the Ivor Novella Award for Best Album and an Enemy Award for Best British Album. She added the latest addition to Age 101 with another EP, this time simply just named Drop 6. 2021 With no signs of any dip in the quality of her music, we were treated in 2021 to arguably Little Sim's best body of work. Sometimes I might be introvert. A clever initialism of Simbi. Little Sims explored the journey she's taken to get to where she is and discover herself as a woman and person in general. The Simbi tour that followed ended with headline shows in London's Brixton O2 Academy where she shut it down for three consecutive nights becoming the first woman to do so in the process. Simbi won BBC Six's album of the year, debuted at number four on the UK album charts, number one on the UK R&B chart and number one on the indie chart. She won in America at the BET Hip Hop Award for Best International Flow, won the UK Music Video Award for Best Editing and Introvert, and won the Mobile Award for Best Female Act. I'm very, very speechless right now. This is like, I'm in the dream that I always dreamed about when I was young. 2021 even saw Sims re-release Venom from 2019's Grey Area. 
The song was also released as part of Drake's soundtrack for Top Boy, but after Tom Hardy personally reached out to Little Sims, she also had a cameo in the movie Venom, Let There Be Carnage, as well as adding a remix to the soundtrack. 2022 The awards continued in 2022 with an Ivor Novello Award for Best Contemporary Song, an Enemy Award for Best Solo Act from the UK, Best Hip Hop Record at the Liberia Awards, three awards at the UK Music Video Awards, and a MOBO for Best Album of the Year. Sims was also awarded the coveted Mercury Prize for the Album of the Year after being named Best New Artist at the Brit Awards. In true Little Sims fashion, the moment spoke about her willingness to just be herself at all times, as she gave a powerful speech with her mother along her side on stage. My name is Simbiatu Ajikawa. I'm from North London, Islam. Grew up on a council estate. I'm an independent artist. And to be here tonight receiving this award is such a blessing. I'm so grateful. I want to say, Thank you Little Sims would go on to end the year, releasing another fantastic album in No Thank You. There is definitely an exciting future ahead for Little Sims, whether it be in acting or music. Her track record speaks for itself and she truly has emerged as a real and genuine leader in the UK hip-hop scene, serving as one of the UK's best musical ambassadors. <laughs>